all computers have RAM in them, and we use RAM memory to run our programs. But, 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 it's actually just not a single memory that does the same thing. RAM memory can be divided into separate sections, and two of those are the heap and the stack. But what is the difference between the two? Simply put, I have no fucking idea. No, but in all seriousness, it can seem pretty strange to have different types of memory, but it's actually very useful. Let me go through the difference between the two. The major difference between the two is that the stack memory is controlled by the compiler and we don't have to think about it as much, while the heap is entirely up to us to manage. Whenever we create a normal local variable, it is stored in the stack. All local values are stored here. By local variables, I mean all variables that can only be accessed in a specific function. The heap, on the other hand, is where we can allocate and deallocate data dynamically. In other words, we can create and delete values when the program is running, and these values are global. Every different function can access them. Malloc and calloc are ways for us to control the heap. If you don't know about malloc and calloc, you should go and watch my video about them. But in short, they give you access to a block of memory, and the pointers we get from them can be used to access the block of data from everywhere. We use the stack by declaring values in function, and the program then deallocates them for us when the function is over. You can also have something called the global normal variables that you declare outside of a function, and they aren't actually stored in the stack nor the heap. They are instead stored in a section called the data segment, but I won't go through that in this video. Global variables are also considered bad practice for a number of reasons. First off, pointers are faster. Secondly, they are dynamic, so you don't have to know the size of them before creating them. Thirdly, a pointer can be changed in other functions, as the function can access the value stored directly at the address the pointer provides. Fourthly, only <laughs> Another difference between the stack and the heap is that the stack is declared with a special amount of memory when the program gets created. So if you're not careful, you could accidentally overflow the stack since you can't allocate or deallocate memory in the stack. It is the program's job. You could of course also overflow the heap since it has a limited amount of memory as well, but it's much easier to control since you can deallocate memory by yourself. Let's use function as an example to get a better understanding about the stack and the heap. When we declare a function, we tell the program what arguments we're going to send in, what values the function will be returning, and what the function is supposed to do. Functions are often globally accessible, as they aren't stored in the stack. But wait, functions have local variables that get wiped when the function is over, so how could they not be stored in the stack? Functions work because the declaration and the actual function aren't stored in the same place. The declaration is often stored in the data section of the RAM, whereas the actual function is stored in the stack. This makes it so that the function can have its temporary variables and then get brutally murdered never to see the light of day again. Subscribe, 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 subscribe.